Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to add a new column into a pandas data frame. We're going to look at four different ways to do this. And I'll also tell you what my favorite way is and make sure to stay to the end for that. So let's first import pandas as PD and we'll create a simple data frame. In this data frame, we just have three columns with some numbers. The first way to add column is the data frame dot insert method. Let's add a new column into the second column, which is after the column one in the data frame. And we'll use the df dot insert. The first argument is the position of the column to be inserted. We'll use one here since Python index start from zero. So one is the second element. The next argument we need is a name for the new column. I will just call it new column. And the last argument is the value we want to insert. We can pass in either a list of values or we can also input formulas. For example, df column one times two. Now in our data frame, there's an additional column called new column and the values are basically two times the values from the first column. Also note that the insert method modifies the data frame in place without needing the in place equal to true argument. The second approach is what I call the square bracket method. So basically we just write df square bracket and then input a name for the new column. I'm gonna call it new column v2 and equal to df then the new column and times two. Checking the data frame and we can see that this method also modifies the data frame in place. However, with this method, we cannot control the position of the new column. It will always be added to the far end of the data frame. If you find the video helpful, please smash the like button. It really helps the channel and by smashing the like button, you guys are telling me that you like this kind of tutorial and I'll try my best to make more of them. The third approach to add a new column is by using the data frame assign method. So we'll type df.assign and the argument will be the new column name. Uh, note here, we don't need the quotes. So I'm going to call it new underscore column underscore v3, then equal to the df and new column times three. So we see this um, v3 column in a data frame. However, if we call the df again, it looks like this assign method doesn't override the data frame in place. So in order to keep the change, we need to assign the resulting data frame to some variable. And in this case, I'll just assign it back to the original data frame itself. And the fourth way to add a new column into pandas data frame is by using the map method with a dictionary. Note that this is not the Python building map function but it's rather the pandas map method. So we'll have a dictionary with the following data. Essentially the keys are numerical numbers and the dictionary values are the spring representation of numbers from one to six. Our goal is to create a new column using the string values that match the numbers in column one. So basically numbers one to five. And in the new column, instead of showing the numbers one to five, we'll see the English words one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to create a new column. Let's call it letter and equal to df column one, which is the first column dot map. And then we pass in the dictionary num to letter. Essentially, we're mapping the dictionary keys with the values inside column one. This will only return the match values for example uh, the number six isn't in column one so we won't see the english word six in the new column either because there's no match now we have learned the four ways to add a new column into pandas data frame let me know in the comments below which way is your favorite so my personal favorite way of adding a new column is the square bracket way. I think it requires the least amount of typing and it's also very easy to understand. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one.